My name is Nandita, and I'm from the Anthos Partner Management Team. And I'm going to be joined shortly by my colleague, Yevgenia. She's from the Partner Engineering Team. We are here representing the entire Anthos team to thank you, our customers and partners, for collaborating with us, for entrusting us to innovate on your behalf so you can build better functionality at a faster pace, more reliably, and more consistently for your customers. You've heard throughout the day from our different teams on the capabilities that we are building for you and will continue to build for you so you can modernize on Anthos with confidence that you won't be locked in, that you can implement policy and security management at scale, build once to run anywhere. There is one additional factor that we wanted to highlight for you when you think about what sets Google Cloud's Anthos apart, and it is our growing ecosystem of partners. Several of them are here today with us and will be joining us for the reception as well. We are working with a variety of partners who are innovating on our platform, building their solutions on our platform, integrating their solutions with Anthos and extending Anthos for you. We have over 40 technology partners that are working with us to qualify their solutions to work with Anthos. And this includes the best of breed of enterprise commercial solutions as well as open source options. We're working with a variety of platform partners so you can make use of your existing hardware investments as well as any new requirements can be satisfied using validated solutions on Anthos that they are continuously releasing for you. We are onboarding partners every day that can help you as service partners to migrate and modernize your solutions swiftly and successfully. So if you're wondering if you can run your favorite third-party product or tool on Anthos? The answer is yes. Whether you're a developer or an operator, the GCP Marketplace is your central repository to find, to deploy, and use our partner solutions. Our partners are offering flexible subscription licenses, and the advantage of using the GCP Marketplace is you also get the benefit of consolidated billing with your GCP spend. Specific to Anthos, we have a number of operators on Kubernetes and Kubernetes apps to support you. These are simple to deploy out of the box solutions that you can deploy through autom automated deployment templates onto your GKE clusters or your Anthos on-prem. We've also made sure that we have launched managed updates, a feature that helps both customers and partners manage updates to these solutions. So as a user, you get notified anytime a partner has an updated version. As a partner, you don't have to have the burden of supporting older versions or outdated versions, and more importantly, you have a way to make sure you can launch and release security patches, application updates to partners in a time, to your customers in a timely manner. If you're interested in taking a look at the types of partner solutions that are supported on Anthos, and if you use the same lens that Vig Iglesias and team did, when it comes to the infrastructure layers, we have partners that can support you for storage solutions, be it on-prem or online. You have the choice to bring to Anthos your preferred load balancers or ingress proxies. 
your preferred security and identity solution providers. When we think about the platform layer, we have the best of breed of developer tools, as well as IT ops monitoring solutions so that you can develop on Anthos with confidence. If you are looking for application level services, be it databases, enterprise, commercial, or open source, you can see the variety of options we have for you. The same holds good for analytics and newer machine learning solutions that we will be bringing to the GCP marketplace. To show you how you can get started in using the GCP marketplace and our partner solutions, I'd like to invite on stage Yevgenia. Thank you, Manjita. All right. Um, so I'll try to be short. I know you're all very tired and want to just move on to the happy hour. Uh, but let's talk a little bit more about why we believe partners are so important. So one of the great promises that Anthos makes is to accelerate application development and modernization. Moreover, we want developers to focus on what's important. And what's important is to bring competitive advantages to their companies. And we realize it's impossible to do it without our technology partners, without building a robust ecosystem of enterprise solutions that run on Anthos and work with Anthos. So though this slide says that we will look at GCP Marketplace, I actually want to step back and look at the user journey. So you will understand why we think it's important to start with users and then bring partners in. Uh, could we please uh, launch the demo? Yeah, I didn't want to take any chances, so we'll, we'll do it this way. Um, so a partner in her opening talk mentioned that uh, retail and commerce companies are very excited about Anthos. So here you can see, almost can see, all right, yes, you can see um, a demo, a recording of the application that is running, and this is the online boutique shop. It's very fun and looks pretty simple, but essentially for our retail customers, right, this is their bread and butter. This is what their users see as the and value of our retail companies' products and offerings, right? Not the only one, but one of those. And when development teams are working on solutions like that, it's, um, it's not just they having fun, but they also have to keep in mind things like how scalable this application is, how reliable it is. Will they be able to uh, make sure that all their customers are happy during the holiday season, right? So with that, Let's look what can be under the hood of an application like I just showed you. And we're gonna launch another demo. And now we're looking at GCP console. So you can see I have actually two Kubernetes clusters. One is on-prem cluster, you see cluster type Anthos, and the other one is GKE cluster. And in fact, on, all of this, on both of these clusters, we see serverless applications running. And this is the application that you saw. Actually, it's managed by Cloud Run. The reason developers could choose Cloud Run because it delivers on the promise of scaling up and down from zero when depending on the traffic. So that kind of serves this idea of when you have holiday season peak and traffic, Cloud Run can handle that, right? And at the same time, our users won't be able, will be able to manage their resources and make sure they don't spend too much on the infrastructure, right? So we see that that's all great, right? So you will ask me, so Evgenia, where's, uh, where's partners in all of it, right? Um, so the partner comes next, right? So we, we can look at the architectural overview here. This is just an example of all the microservices that development team came up with and their communications between each other. What stands out on this diagram is a data store component, right? And while it's all fun to use open source tools and manage them by ourselves when it comes to building POCs and MVPs, if we want to run an application in production, we really want it to be stable and robust, and we want certain guarantees that it won't fail. And choosing the right data store solution is a very important step. So a lot of our users will come to us and say, tell us 
which data store provider should we choose to run on top of Anthos? And the answer to that is GCP Marketplace. This is where our users would go to look into, into available um, databases. So again, we look at the cluster, GCP console, let's look at the marketplace. We see all the Kubernetes apps. Let's filter and see what sort of database solutions are available there. We see 23 results. You would see some of those listings have managed updates um, available. This is the version of the app that has supports managed updates. We're scrolling down, and we see Redis Enterprise. So let's say we made a choice, our user made a choice to use Redis. All right, Redis actually has integrated billing. So what we will get out of it, we will get a single unified Anthos build together with Redis. So our procurement team doesn't have to worry about it. So we look through, there's plenty of documentation available thanks to Redis Enterprise team. Um, and here we are. We're just configuring, choosing the right flavor, the pricing, hitting deploy button, and it's getting deployed. And obviously, you all can go and check it out yourselves if you have a GCP account and you, and you have billing admin permissions, right? Um, and here it is. Applications, Op operator is deployed, the application is being deployed. All right, so this is, this is all the goodness that users can get out of GCP Marketplace. And by the way, we actually support on-prem deployments as well. So whether you want to deploy an application from Marketplace on cloud or on-prem, it's gonna be the same experience as long as your cluster fit the requirements for the, um, for the application. Is that it? Is that all that we do with partners? Absolutely not, right? When we talk to our users, we understand that actually adopting Anthos is a huge commitment, and working on application modernization takes time. So asking users to adopt new development or operation tools would be a big overhead. So what we want, we want to meet our customers where they are. We want just to embed Anthos into the existing um, developer and operation workflows and make sure that existing tools just work as fine. So this diagram is one of the good examples of a collaboration that we had with JFrog team to build an end-to-end -end solution workflow and, and show our customers how they can use their private in, um, container registry in the hybrid cloud setup. And this is what we do with many more customers and partners, right? We getting feedback from customers in terms of what kind of solutions they're looking for and bringing those to partners and working together on that. So it's not just, it's not just a diagram, this is something that any user can take and adopt any moment they want to. And another commitment that we make, not just to our customers but to our partners, is to make sure that we bring um, Anthos roadmap to them. We're talking about new components that we bring into the Anthos ecosystem and making sure that those are seamlessly integrated with, them, uh, with partner products as well. One of the recent um, launches that we had was Cloud Run for Anthos, our serverless component. And together with Cloud Run for Anthos, we announced an ecosystem of more than 10 partners who now officially support Cloud Run for Anthos out of box. But that, I'm passing the ball back to Nandita to wrap up our session. Thank you. Thank you, Yevgenia. I hope that gave everybody a glimpse of how easy and simple it is to use solutions from our partners. But as Yevgenia said, and you saw earlier in the day, we want to take steps further and further with our partners. So our approach to solving what our customers and users are asking from us is to use Google's first-party solutions and third-party solutions from our partners, stitch them together so every user, every customer gets a first-party-like reliable experience. 
So you will see more and more solution maps coming out from us, similar to the CICD tooling solution sets that Vic and team showed you earlier today. And if you want to collaborate with us on building solutions, we want to work with you and we want to hear from you. So I do hope we can continue the conversation. Our team is going to be at the Google Cloud booth. We're going to be here the rest of KubeCon. And more importantly, we're going to be on the rooftop for the party. So do come join us and talk to us about solutions that you want to build together with us. To give you more options on how you can stay connected with our entire Anthos team through KubeCon and beyond, I want to invite on stage our group product manager, Sambit Samal. Thanks, Sandita. <clears throat> Good afternoon. So, closing times. Um, I guess this is the moment you all have been waiting for. Um, but one of the goals that we had for this day is to help you understand Anthos a little bit better. So considering where we started in the morning, how many of you would say that they have a better idea of Anthos now versus what was there in the morning? By the show of hands? OK. Looks like you know, many of you still do not know what Anthos is. So this next slide is for those, <laughs> primarily. So we have a rooftop uh, reception at 6 PM. So join us there. All of us and all the presenters will be there. There will be more experts. So you can talk to them over drinks. And maybe you know, that will help you understand the things better. And if you miss that, we have a community booth. You can go and you know, um, sign up, and we'll be happy to talk to you. Um, about Anthos or anything that you want to talk. And we have a booth on the Explo Expo floor. Um, you can uh, come there, and we can have a chat. On your table, there is an e-book um, about service mess. Uh, please take that home. That will help you understand uh, service mess better. And we have a um, short link to YouTube video that will also be helpful to learn more about Anthos. Please use those resources. And with that, we will love your feedback. And please provide this feedback. Either you can use the Chromebook um, outside or use um, any of the links here. But before I do that, or before I wrap it up, we have a winner from the last feedback that happened um, like 10 minutes back. The winner is Team Thurs. If he's here, Praveen has the gift for, there you go. All right, that's it. Thank you, everyone, for joining us here today. Hope you had a good time and it was valuable. Thank you.